about alchemy, so that means your magical fluid is melanin, right? Okay, now listen. For this, you must be one. You must, you must, but for this reason, you must watch out for vampires. They will try to take this sacred substance from you. Now, this is bearing witness to what we're talking about now with the concentration camps. Because I, I predicted, and it, and it even got past me, I predicted in, in, in November of 94, and my mothership three that, that the concentration camps was going to be mass melanin extraction experiments. You see what I'm saying? And it's funny, a sister saw it, but you got to realize we got to start learning how to interpret channels better. A sister saw bodies stacked up, and she saw people in concentration camps in 94. But she saw it physically on top out here in the public. And it threw people off, so because we didn't see it, we thought it would be something in the future. But a lot of times when you get channels, a lot of times they are going on now, you just got to interpret them. You see, but I said it is going to be mass melanin extractions. And six months later, they came out with the melatonin pills in 94. You see what I'm saying? They came out with the melatonin pills in, in 94. Now listen, they say they will take, they will, they, they will, they will try to take this substance, substance from you. This is why you must use your will to attract those of high vibrations. You see what I'm saying? Now, and one thing that means also that you can't be fucking around with crackers. You see what I'm saying? Although you got dead black people, they're all of a higher vibration than white people. You see what I'm saying? So, one level, you can't be fucking around with this beast because these beasts can take your melanin by your energy, especially, like I say, through sex. You see what I'm saying? They will come to you because AWAS, they say they will come to you because Awas is your master, which is a form of the Christ. You see what I'm saying? So what it means is here, what it means here is, these are vampires, so the real vampire will take your melanin through temporary, they take your melanin, first of all, they take your energy when they touch you. That's why you see some white people, when they get to know you, because they want to touch all over you. And you know, and I know a lot of people, when they first got dreads, you see a lot of dreads now, but white people will come up and want to touch your goddamn dreads. Or they'll come up and want to touch your hair. That's because they're taking your energy from you. They're vampires. So they can take that kind of energy by touching you. You see what I'm saying? By touching you. Uh, another way is, is um, the ones that know. The other ones, when they get around your energy, they, they, it turns into racism. They, they, they reject against you because, you know, two damn objects might not attract each other. You know, you got, two, you got different metals that get polar, you know, polarized from each other. You know what I'm saying? So, but the ones that know... They come and try to take your energy. That's one way. Another way is through sex. Another, uh, another way is basically, it's getting so bad now that they just got to just basically just snatch you. Take your whole body and, and take the parts out and make substitute. And that's the reason why they had to crush the mummies up. And they've always been eating us. You see what I'm saying? They've always been eating us for years. It's because they are the vampires. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? And that's what they're talking about here. You see? Trying to, vampire does what? Tries to suck your blood. What is blood? Blood, the, the liquid blood is only that, the liquid blood is only a fraction of what's in you as the melanin is throughout your whole blood system. You see what I'm saying? So this is what vampires really is. You see what I'm saying? So, so this whole thing that's going on now is an actuality. Now it's funny. You see how the spirit is? It's funny because I'm always observing things. We said that it came out with the melatonin pills in 94. In the summer of 94, the same year that the melatonin pills came out, the metaphysical books stores started getting in at least 10 of that, at least 10 or 20 books that's been released within the last three years on vampires. They got all kinds of books on vampirism. Vampire this, vampire that. And these are not like story books and stuff like that. These are, are metaphysical books talking about vampires. But we know that the other one, and, and then, you know, then in what, uh, uh, um, what, 94, the, the fall of 94, the movie Interview with a Vampire comes out. You see what I'm saying? This year you had the movie From Dust to Dawn came out. You see, they are the vampires and they're trying to suck the blood of us. And remember now, and it's interesting. Now in the movie Interview with a Vampire, they said that the best blood is that of a Creole woman. When they came on damn HBO, they cut that out. 
So he can cut shit on HBO. You see. They cut it when they said, he said, oh, but the best blood is that of a Creole, which basically, they couldn't say black, so they said Creole, which is still, is still a black person, to show you the best they talk about melanin. And they are the damn vampires. And that's the key. What the whole thing now is, is, is basically vampires against real people. And that's the whole shit that's going down now with the concentration camps. Check. Okay. Uh, so, also, um, um, I, I want to say this because some brother, get, get on top of this, because some brother jumped up in, in Philadelphia and, and told me, well, brother, didn't we sell people into slavery in Egypt? Uh, sell people into slavery? No, didn't, we, didn't the Africans sell us into slavery here in America? And there's a good book, Donald Redford's book, Akhenaten and the Heretic King, and in that, that particular part, and I should have brought it and give you the page number, they talk about, uh, in there they talk about a, a slave that, that was, a guy that was sell, sold into slavery in Egypt, which in actuality, it was nothing but a, PL, a, a POW, a prisoner of war. And that prisoner of war was able to go and do his little bit of duties with a couple, about a year or so, do his duties for the person that he was serving, as far as, you know, stuff around the house, or, you know, whatever. And then after he got through, the guy gave him his daughter to marry and gave him his whole inheritance. So now, damn, that's, so that's a different kind of slavery than the one that they're talking about. You see, that's this, this, this dealing with, I mean, we also know that our people had no, no way of knowing that this was going to happen to us, otherwise they wouldn't have dared done it. They were thinking on a POW, prisoner of war, and they didn't understand the concepts of slavery on what the white man was going to do to us. You see, on the, what, what the white man is going to do to us. But it's interesting because there's, he, he, they always tell you stuff in movies. There's a movie, I'll have to get the name for it because I got it in a TV guy. It came on last Sunday. There's a black and white movie that came on AMC with Spencer Tracy that supposedly was going to Africa to hunt down this doctor that was doing this particular, um, this particular, uh, he was doing this particular, uh, he studies of the people in Africa. It's real derogatory thing about how Africans have never had knowledge and whatever is the darkest place. So when they say dark Africa, the dark continent, they're not talking about black people. They're, they're saying dark people, dark continent, they're saying because it's, it's supposed to be the most ignorant place in history, savage, dark as far as no knowledge, which we know that they're changing shit around. So when they say that, we know that they're talking, that's, that's when, when they say dark continent, and they say dark continent now, you'll see them talking about the dark continent, you just think they're talking about black people. No, they were talking about ignorant which we weren't ignorant. They were just, you know, that's the way that they say things. But in the movie, this is the late 1800s now, they show Arab slavers still got people into slavery. You see? And it documents that this slavery, if it went on in the late 1800s, it went on up until now. So now you got the hell with the Nation of Islam if they don't know that they got damn slavery in Sudan, Mauritania, you understand what I'm saying? And throughout Arab countries, including goddamn Arabia. They got physical slavery going on, not since 1980 like some of them, going on now. Because they can't doggone distinguish Islam, you're going to sit up here and talk junk. These doggone places do have slavery going on. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of stuff is documented in that particular movie, as well as the movie I also told you that was documented. You need to get the movie uh, quickly down under that documents the, the massacre and the holocaust of black people. Of, of, of black people in Australia, you see, so, uh, uh, of black people in Australia. So anyway, when you read about Jacob in the Bible, Jacob in the Bible, Jacob comes from the word Jack, or Kak, which means the black one, Kak Shidi, Jacob, which means the black body. So when they say Jacob sold into Egypt by his brothers, it's not talking about Egypt for 2,000 years ago or 3,000 years ago, because slavery never happened in Egypt. So when they say Jacob sold into Egypt by his brothers, they're talking about now when the Africans sold the black man into America, you see. So now A&E and these particular ones on cable is not coming in. It's still trying to historicalize biblical prophecies and none of that shit ever happened. You see what I'm saying? Now bear with me because we're going to go, we get, we get ready to go uh, into the, 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 the God is the devil in a few minutes and also too. Also, when they do that, too. We need to cut on the light so I can read a little bit, too, also. Also, too. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, I will, I will. I just say, you know, we'll just work from back and forth and stuff. Uh, yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 
also too, so I can read some too when I when I do some stuff. Uh, also, so that when they say J Jacob selling the people in Africa, that's talking about now, and that was talking about the last 300 years on what happened when Jacob was sold in Africa. So Jacob was sold into Egypt by his brothers. That's the black man sold into bondage in America. Now remember, now it's funny. Now.